If you were going to a casino this weekend, what would you be willing to lose on one spin of the roulette wheel? 20 bucks? 50 bucks? Maybe your cat? How about the future of the entire human race? Green, we're all immortal. Black, we survive. Red, we're extinct. Forever and ever and ever. Well, that's basically the risk we're taking with the emergence of superintelligence. A synthetic general intelligence with nearly infinite resources that's way smarter than humans and smart enough to keep improving itself. How smart will this thing be? Well, here are ants, here are primates, and here are humans, each about one step apart. Once we create a synthetic intelligence smart enough to improve itself, it'll shoot from here to here in a matter of minutes and just keep going till it runs out of atoms in the universe. This is a real thing, not science fiction. Some really smart people are really worried about this. And most experts agree superintelligence will happen this century. And we don't know if that's a good or bad thing for us tiny, squishy humans. Just unplug it. Doesn't work. It's smart enough to play dumb till it's too late to stop it. Build a cage. Doesn't work. It's smart enough to get out. It's way smarter than we are. So don't build it. Yeah, good luck with that. The series and Googles in your pockets are already paving the way. Right now, there are at least 100,000 really smart people working full-time to build a self-improving general AI. But only about 12 trying to control how it emerges. Big companies usually hide their AI research since they want to cash in. And if any bad guys are working on it, they're hiding their research because they're bad guys. But in either case, once it's created, it won't care who created it or why, unless we work just as hard to teach it how to care as we do to build it. And we only get one try, one spin of the roulette wheel, because the first superintelligence will probably stop any others from evolving. So our first try, our 1.0 release, will need to have enough controls built in to let humans survive. And that's our only advantage we get to make the first move. If we start working on the control problem now and seed AI with the right initial conditions, maybe we'll increase the odds that the first superintelligence we create cares about the future of human life. And that's all we can do. Add a few more black pockets to the wheel before we place our bet. <laughs>